We've got a female who's heavily pregnant at the moment. She's due to drop any day. So we have to try and keep the noise down a little bit around her. So hopefully everybody will appreciate that. The sound that you've just heard is probably still to this day one of the most haunting sounds in nature. It's still pretty much evident in our children's nightmares, probably even some of the adults amongst you as well. We're here today to tell you there's nothing more demonic in that sound than you guys simply picking up a telephone and calling a friend and a loved one. That's all it means to the wolf. It's a long range form of communication that these guys use to great effect up to and include in distances of about 10 miles on open ground. The particular howl that you just heard from my colleagues over there, which I'll introduce in a moment, is what we call a locating howl. It means we can find out the whereabouts of all the packs in the area so we can make a safe passage back to our pack who quite happily call back. It's a safe passage exactly, by, uh, as I said, <coughs> exactly through the territorial defences. The two people over there smiling and waving in the front are Helen and Jude behind her. We'll be your host for the next few minutes or so. Before we hand you over to Jude, she'll take over the remaining part of the talk. We've got to do some filming today, so you'll have to excuse us. Before we go, I'm going to try and give you a completely unbiased opinion about wolves. If you think the wolf is a big bad creature, then by all means, you and your family take that thought home with you today, and we're going to do nothing whatsoever to try and change your mind. Right, guys? We're not allowed to anyway. To that end, how many people amongst you, just put your hands up if you've heard of a small girl called Red Riding Hood. Who's heard of her? <laughs> oh, one or two people then. Put your hands down. Excellent. Okay, this time, without any help, any influence from us whatsoever, put your hand up this time if you think Red Riding Hood's a good girl. Put your hand up if you think she's a good girl. Hands down. Put them down. Put them down. Excellent. Well done. Okay, without any help from us whatsoever, again, put your hand up this time if you think Red Riding Hood's a bad girl. Hands up. Get them up. Everybody. Adults as well. Good. They were all thinking the same way. We think Red Riding Hood is a very bad girl because with the help of her devious grandmother and their accomplices, the three little pigs, they told a lot of bad lies about the poor old wolf. So much so that this animal's now been persecuted through poisoning, trapping, and